In this video, I'm going to show you how to test a, uh, a fuel pump diaphragm and inlet needle on a diaphragm type carburetor. You'll find these carburetors on these uh, handheld outdoor power equipment, two strokes. Um, uh, the reason they use diaphragm type carburetors is because they can be, they can be, the, the equipment can be moved in any position and they'll, they'll keep running. Um, first thing you want to do is clean off the the equipment. Um, take a rag and, and compressed air will go a, lo go a long way with that. And you want to remove the carburetor. Um, first thing I remove on this is the uh, 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 cotter pin for the choke. And then just push the choke out of the lever there. And I got to remove the carburetor mounting bolts. This particular uh, chainsaw, the carburetor is kind of difficult to get out, but Once you have the carburetor out, the linkage for the, this just popped out, this is a linkage for the throttle. I want to take that out and then you got the gas, the gas line that you want to remove. And then here's the carburetor. Um, the top side, this, this top uh, cover is covers up the, there's a fuel pump here, fuel pump gasket, fuel pump diagram, diaphragm. And at the bottom is your metering diaphragm and your metering diaphragm cover. Um, here's your low and high needle adjustment screws. Um, uh, this is your choke choke shaft, choke butterfly, uh, your throttle butterfly, throttle shaft. While you got it out, you can check for any excessive play in your in your throttle shaft. Um, but uh, now I'll show you how to how to check the uh, fuel pump diaphragm and inlet needle. All right. To check this, uh, uh, to check the fuel fuel diaphragm and the fuel gasket on this carburetor and the in and the inlet needle and inlet needle seat, um, what you want to do is get yourself a uh, either a, a pressure pump. This is a this this is a mighty vac. It um, it can be either I can set it to to either act as a vacuum pump or a pressure pump. I've got it set up for as a pressure pump. Um, what you want to do is connect the hose from the from the pressure pump to your fuel inlet on the carburetor make sure it's a, it's a good fit tight seal um, and then pump if we can read this the lights kind of want to pump this up to 10 psi and no more than 10 psi if you can read this in the 
which would be right there. And it should hold the pressure fairly steady, um, which you can see this one is. And if it does, then, then, you're, then you're, your fuel pump and your, and your um, um, inlet needle are acting like they should be. If it doesn't hold the pressure and it leaks, uh, take your carburetor, take a, like a bowl of water, like I've got here, which I was expecting this one to leak, um, and dunk it in, and then look for leaks. If you see leaks around, around this, uh, this fuel, fuel diaphragm cap, then, then you've either got a problem with the, either the cap is warped, the gasket and diaphragm's bad, or uh, the body of the carburetor is, is, is warped. Um, if you look into the Venturi here and, and you see bubbles coming out of the Venturi, um, then, you're, then you know your inlet needle's leaking. Um, also, I've noticed that uh, it, it's, if you've had a, the, the, the diaphragms in this carburetor and the inlet needle should be wet when, when, you, when you take the reading. I've noticed that makes a difference. So if you've got a carburetor that's been sitting around for a two, couple of years or a year and it's, you know, it hasn't had fuel run through it, you might want to run some fuel through it before you do this test. Seems to make a difference. Um, but like I said, if you can get it to hold uh, 10 PSI and don't put any more than 10 PSI, then, then you know your fuel pump and, and uh, inlet needle's working. So uh, it's not leaking. Um, anyway, I hope you found this video helpful and uh, thank you for watching.